part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Kevin from Klotz Productions, and welcome back to game three of the match between Blue White Infect and Wolf Run Ramp. David took a mulligan down to six for this game, and then it started off slowly as Nick laid down a mountain and David played an island. Then Nick laid down a forest and David played a plains. Nick then played an Ink Moth Nexus, and David finally played a creature, which was a Priest of Norn. Nick then played a Solemn Simulacrum and found himself another forest. Then David used an Oblivion Ring to remove the Simulacrum. He then attacked with his priest and used a twisted image to switch its power and toughness and give Nick four poison counters. However, Nick had an acidic slime that he used to destroy the Oblivion Ring and get his solemn back, allowing him to search for another land. David then used a corrupted conscious to take the acidic slime and then attacked with his Norn again, so Nick blocked it with his simulacrum, turning it into a 1-1. Nick then finished the Norn off with a galvanic blast. Nick used a slag storm on his next turn to kill all the creatures and draw a card from his simulacrum. He then played a Huntmaster of the Fells and went up to 22 life. David played a Blighted Agent on his turn, and then Nick animated his Nexus and attacked with the team. David chose to take it, so went down to 16 and got a Poison Counter. Then during David's upkeep, since Nick didn't play anything on his last turn, his Huntmaster transformed into a Ravager of the Fells. He used it to do 2 damage to the Blighted Agent and kill it, and then 2 damage to David, dropping him to 14. David played another Priest on his turn, and then Nick put a Keswick Wolf Run into play. He then attacked with his Wolf and his Ravager. David chose to block the Wolf, so Nick pumped his Ravager two times with his Wolf Run, doing six damage to David, dropping him to eight. In post-combat, Nick played another Solemn Simulacrum and found himself another Mountain. David attacked with his Priests, which Nick blocked with his Simulacrum. Nick then attacked with his team. David chose to block the Wolf, so Nick pumped his Ravager one time with his Wolf Run. However, in response, David bounced it with a Disperse and then took one damage from the Simulacrum, going to seven. Nick then replayed his Hunt Master, however David countered it with a Flash Freeze. David just attacked with his Priest on his turn, bringing Nick up to 5 Poison Counters. Nick then attacked back with his Simulacrum, which David chose to block. So Nick chose to use his Wolf Run to pump it 4 times and give it Trample, killing the Priest and dropping David to 6. Nick drew a card when his Simulacrum died and then used a Rampant Growth to find another Forest. David just played Draw Go and then Nick started his next turn by playing a Slag Storm. However, David countered it with a Fuel for the Cause and proliferated, bringing Nick up to 6 poison. Then Nick played 2 more Huntmaster of the Fells, bringing himself up to 26. David used an Oblivion Ring on one of the Huntmasters and a Disperse on the other one. He was dead on board next turn, however fortunately for him, they went to time and ended up splitting the match. So that's it for this match, I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version of this gameplay in the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.